Hi everyone, I hope everybody are doing good. Welcome to my channel. So in the last video, you know, in the last couple of videos we had been discussing about um, SAS and DAS and we had seen how to install the SAS tools and DAS tools. So in this video, we'll discuss up the quick recap and quick difference between SAS and DAS. So let's go to uh, the first one, which is a uh, SAS, which is a static application security testing. So usually this testing do happen while your code is on a uh, you know, static state, which is uh, the code is not running state on any production or developer environment or testing environment. So in this you know, SAS, which is a security application testing uh, scanning, so usually scanners go and scan your end-to-end uh, -end, uh, code, which is your source code, and line by line and you know all the files. And the scanners um, will go and scan and after that it will find any vulnerabilities or any uh, security issues or did you expose any database passwords or sensitive information of your project so such type of all the information will be go and scan with the uh, um, sas tool so if any sas tool find the vulnerabilities so usually uh, it's a responsibility of devops and developers or devsecops engineers to go fix it so let's example if it is a um, if, if uh, the scanner uh, in our case we have seen bandit so bandit scan the python application so if scanner found any vulnerabilities or security flaws about database or uh, code or module or versioning so usually uh, devops or devsecops engineer go and talk to developers to get fixed and uh, what developer do so developer go and check the description of the vulnerability or security for flaw and accordingly, it takes action like fixing the versions or fixing the or changing the code or rewriting the code. So these all places developers go and do uh, for solution the particular vulnerability or security flaw. So static application security testing usually happen on uh, your uh, CI/CD pipeline level. Like you know, if you have enable your CI/CD, uh, you know, which is continuous integration, continuous deployment and delivery in your environment. So usually this static application, which is asked, can happen automatically, which means like we have a bunch of tools for that. Like we have a Sonar queue, we have the, um, you know, Bandit and we have uh, other tools to do this activity. So the main reason for static application security testing is like, you know, you know, even uh, you can find the vulnerabilities before it get executed into runtime and you can get fixed it. So that's the main reason for SAS, um, you know, usage. So, you know, you know, in the current real world, everybody have enabled the SAS the scanner for their environment because they don't want to go and get in trouble uh, while it is getting running. Or uh, you, they want to see how many security flaws their security core have and how many possibilities are there to get hacked by the hackers. So that's the main reason SAS to, uh, scanner is more important for your application while it is getting, uh, you know, building because you know, developers may do a, um, uh, you know, may do some um, or may expose some sensitive data while they're developing. There are a couple of there are a couple of examples. Like you know, if you go and check in internet, like, um, there are a couple of website got hacked with um, hackers just because of developers have have not encoded or have not removed the username password in the source code. So why did they do that? Like developers, did they do intentionally? The answer is no. The reason why, uh, usually while developers writing the code uh, in respect of language, so what they do for, de you know, for development purpose, they do keep username passwords on the source code itself for, you know, testing how their, their website is working because developers, you know, write the code and bunch of awards and they, they need to run the um, code for um, you know, a number of times. So it's so what for making easier of their work what they do they do keep all their uh, you know username passwords of database or username passwords of the remote servers everything they do configure on their local laptop but it's not a good practice to do that like you know if you are uh, if you have in an environment you have a, a cyber security team so usually what they do say hey this is not a good practice to keep your sensitive information even you are in development so follow the best practices you know, several security people do a recommendation of those, these type of recommendations to develop. But what if your environment does not have a cyber security team and it does not have any uh, umbrella of security team? 
so did uh, we had seen like bunch of hacking was happened on e-commerce website banking websites so there are there are a lot of website were hacked only because of developers was exposed the sensitive information so that's why we really required the static application security testing tool to be enabled on the your infrastructure even if you want to push your application from testing environment to production environment or development environment to testing environment so irrespective of environment you would like to uh, send your code from one environment to another environment so it's good to enable sas to scanner on each environment and can notify the vulnerabilities so that's the you know recap about the static application security testing in detail so then the other one we are going to discuss about the thing is which is the dynamic application security testing which we call in short as a dast so why do we really require a dast scanner enabled on an infrastructure so let's example um, you have used a sas scanner and you know you found the vulnerabilities and flaws and you know you have sent the application into production so production in a production our application is live and you know so there are hundreds of possibilities where uh, you know your ap application get hacked by the uh, other resources like um, you know there are a bunch of resources are available in the internet like you know i you know i have seen uh, there are few websites like banking website do only targeted by a set of groups which we call as hackers so you know the enabling of dast dynamic application security testing is main reason like this scanner will go and scan your website which is running which is live so let's example uh, take example of flipkart so flipkart is live now everybody can access it so what i can do you know you know in a url bar so usually i can go and add unwanted string on url bar so let me open it so i'm going to open the flipkart application which is a e-commerce so if i go and open this so here it has a you know a amazing ui which is a user uh, user interface so what i can do as attacker i will go and add some uh, unwanted string on the uh, url bar so accordingly i can take advantage of loss of this website so this is a one uh, kind of thing another one is logging so if the the back end developer of flipkart has not been do any kind of validation for login so instead of my mobile number i can override this uh, email id and mobile number with any other unwanted string i can stop the sending request of otp to the particular mobile number or any other string so accordingly i can you know bypass some rules of this login page and i can log in and i can order a product even for zero cost or whatever cost i can get the product so there are a bunch of things like you know uh, happen even uh, one case like you know woodland everybody know the wood woodland so in the 2021 uh, you know unwantedly uh, i just opened the woodland page it didn't ask me any username and password directly direct me uh, directly it redirect me to one user i forgot her name but that time what happened right you know it, i didn't enter username and password i don't know how did that session open in my browser i automatically redirect uh, login into one page and i can see all the orders was booked by a customer so such type of issues can be happen on runtime even you uh, intentionally logged in but what happened right you redirect as a user and you can see other people other username on your browser so such type of validations can be uh, should be happen so that is why by enabling the dash scanner so if you have enabled the dash scanner on your website so dash the scanner will go and scan your website like not only login and not only for one endpoint url so it will go and check all the possible ways like how many possible ways are there for you know uh, our attacker can hack your website and uh, you know take advantage uh, advantages so it will go and find the vulnerabilities flaws like you know if you have any security flaws like you know login validations or any other validations and it will go and check end to end of your website and it will give a report so accordingly you know once the report gets generated you can look into the report and uh, as we last last video we have seen or we have seen so that that application we have scanned like you know get by buzz and after that we had seen vulnerabilities in medium and uh, high and low vulnerabilities so at we in the last video had seen like you know dust scanner has been giving the description about hey you have to do this activity to uh, override of this vulnerability or uh, you know security flaw 
So, so that's why like you know data scanner is more important if your application is running on live and it will predict the uh, vulnerabilities and security flaws and give a generate the report so once the generate uh, report has been generated so if you're a devops or devsecops engineer your responsibility to go and talk to your uh, a developer so you know you can talk to a developer you can get fixed vulnerabilities as soon as possible so that is why like you know these all the uh, scanners like sas the scanners and dash the scanners um, most probably they do enable on the uh, development environment only like you know if your developer is working on your application as a base so they do enable it at, from the base level only so if the vulnerabilities were fixed on base level you know you, you don't need to worry about on production level right so it's a good practice to enable all the security checks on your developer environment so that's the recap between the uh, sast and dast so i hope it is clear for everybody and if you still have a questions you can you know drop your comments on comment section and i am free to you know reply on it and thank you for watching this video stay safe have a great day bye bye